Like in the daytime, when I'd be outside in the sun, I used to show my friends things that they hadn't seen before, like the halo. See, like the halo, I, when I was 19, when I was preaching, and I had my trial sermon, I used to see a little, a little light on my shadow on the ground in the daytime. And then now, from ever since then, it's like the light coming further down over my body, around, around my shadow. It's over my body, but around my shadow, and I see the light, which is your halo, I mean, your, your aura. And that's why everybody can't see that. But if you, if you, if you see, you got some little drugs too, we say. And now I don't know what for real. I know what I see, but I don't know for real or not. And so that's why, that's why you see people different. And see, like that anointing, like see, like uh, sometimes when I come outside, uh, I can see uh, when I look at the trees, the wind start blowing. Cause we know we get oxygen from the plants, and we get them carbon dioxide. And so it's the wind. Usually blow sometimes, but it don't blow all the time. Like when I'm in the house a long time, it blow real strong. Janine, who is a paranoid and schizophrenic, has convinced herself that she has overcome this disorder. She now clings to the idea that she has post-traumatic stress disorder, seeing it as a less devastating and more acceptable diagnosis. See, post-traumatic stress, which I have now as a diagnosis, I see reflections of realization from what happened in my life. But um, the paranoid schizophrenic would be in like an illusion that I'd see. But no one else could see it. No one could realize what I was going through. 